Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So on this one I'm going to try a bit of an experiment, and that is to root my floricane cuttings. So what happens in a re re ever-bearing raspberry, the ones that I have, is that you'll get your canes coming up in the spring. Those first year's canes will give you a crop in autumn. Then they'll overwinter and turn into a floricane. The first year they're primal canes, the second year they'll turn into a floricane. And then you'll get another crop in late spring, early summer-ish. And then after that, they're gonna slowly peter away. They don't die right away. Like, it's not like once the fruit is set, they're dead. Like, they're gonna just keep putting energy back into the roots for the raspberry. So there, it takes a little bit for them to just slowly die off. And it's that slowly dying off part where I generally just cut them out. I just free up all the light for all the primal canes and just kind of, you know, let it all flow and everything and give more airflow, better sunlight and everything, everything else for the primal canes. Well, what I'm going to try to do now is try to root those cuttings that I take out, those second year, second year raspberry canes, those flora canes. And I'm hoping that I can turn those flora canes in more plants, you know, that I can just get a use out of it rather than just composting them, you know. So I'm really hoping that this works out. I'm gonna try it and we'll just wait and see what happens. So hopefully this will work out. We'll get more plants out of it. So let's go take these cuttings now and I'll show you what a floricane looks like as compared to a primocane and take the cuttings themselves as well. Look at all these raspberries. We've already been eating it off of this for several weeks. But it's awesome to have them. So the floor canes, the second year canes are these raggedy looking canes and the primal canes are the ones that are fresh and nice looking. But for the sake of this video, this still has a bunch of fruit on it. You know, there's, these are not ready to be uh, cut down yet. However, I've got a cane over on my fall gold that does have a cane that's already produced all of its fruit. So I'm going to be cutting that out and trying to root it. And again, you can see primal canes. They look awesome, very healthy, very large. The floor cane is the uh, kind of haggard looking cane over there. There's another one in here. This is also a floor cane, so you can easily tell them apart, especially in the height of the growing season. Very easy. But there's one cane back in here. I believe it's this one that has already spent all of its energy, all of its, it's already ripened all of its fruit. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna try to root it. As you can see, there's still plenty of life left in it. So it's actually this one that has no more fruit on it. And um, as these canes produce all their fruit, I'll be cutting them out and trying the exact same thing. But I just at least wanted to show you one that I'll be doing it to. So that should make a pretty good cutting to try and root. I'm also gonna to try to pull up cane that's rooted, if I can. Nope, it snapped. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. But that's okay. Still have another cutting there as well. All right, so this is the, gonna be the container I'm gonna be using. It's like a one and a half gallon, six liter-ish pot. Uh, it has some toad flax growing in it, but that's that shouldn't be a big deal. And there's the kitty; she's interested. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a couple nodes on here. Uh, so this is that little thick, little cutting that I ripped out or tried to rip out with roots and all, but it didn't work. So we've got a couple nodes. There's two nodes on there and a third one on the top. I'm gonna leave a little bit of foliage on the top so we can photosynthesize. And I'm gonna do that with all of them. So here, I'm just gonna take these bottom leaves off. 
and I'm going to leave that top foliage on the third node like so. Now I did, additionally you could reduce the foliage a little bit so uh, I'm actually, which actually I'll probably will do it's still growing it's kind of it's gonna be dying off here pretty soon so that's kind of crazy but um, I'll be taking I'll just leave a couple leaves on just because I don't want to have too many leaves on there because then it's gonna dry out and the cutting won't take so I'll just take the tip off Oops. It's like that, leave a couple leaves on there just so I can focus in the size, and then that's it. And I'm gonna do that with all of them. <laughs> There's the kitty. She makes a better door than window. All right, so I'm gonna do that with some more here. This one has a little bit more nodes, but the nodes are very close together. So that's, that's perfectly fine. Try that. Do that with this. This is the top. I kind of want to try a bigger cutting too. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the top the way it is. I want to try some, some bigger ones as well. So I'll just leave that just like this. I will be taking off these little spent raspberry tops. Rip the top off, but that was fine. All right, so just like that. It's a bigger cutting. Just see how that does. All right, so I brought you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. All I'm gonna be doing is shoving these nodes in the ground so that that's because that's where they'll root from i'm not really expecting this cutting to survive all i wanted to do is send out roots and send up another raspberry cane that's all i wanted to do so hopefully there's enough energy in these cuttings to allow that to happen i have rooting hormone but i'm not going to put it on there it shouldn't be necessary so we're just gonna try it just like this. This is an older uh, soil, it's all well decomposed. So this should be fine. Let's take that big one right in the middle. I'm gonna shove it down there pretty, pretty deep. Oop. Try not to kink it. It's gonna go around. Shoving them all. The ground here i have no idea if this is going to work so that's why i'm only putting it in one pot if it ends up working then i'll end up um separating out the plants and giving them their own space so I've got one more put that right over here i use some grass as mulch here So once they root, they should be fine. I'm just gonna put this in a morning sun location. So give it some light, but not too bright. Definitely not the afternoon sun. Just enough to give them just a little bit of sun and uh, see how they do. I'll make an update video if I do end up getting this to work, because this would be awesome. Like I said, this is just essentially waste. I would just compost it. So it's just a little bit of a, uh, Love an experiment. See if I can get some more plants out of here this way. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.